In this week's episode of Talking About Orcs, we're going over knobs on war bikes. And, well, that's exactly what they are. They're knobs on war bikes. So they uh, have 14 inch movements, weapon skill 3, ballistic skill 5, strength 5, toughness 5, so you get an extra toughness. And extra wounds, they have 3 wounds, 3 attacks, 6 leadership, 4 plus. The knob leader has 7 leadership. And each unit contains one boss knob and war, on war bike and two knobs on war bikes. It includes the three additional knobs for a power rating plus seven, so it's seven power rating, or up to six additional power rating plus twelve, so up to nineteen power level. That's pretty good. Each model is armed with a chopper and rides a war bike equipped with two daca guns. So of course, and let's see, and any model we may, may take a slugger on a stick bomb. And any model may replace its choppa and slugger with items from the knob's weapon list. And the one exception, of course, is that these guys cannot take combi weapons, unlike foot knobs. Which is a shame, because these guys with combi scorches might actually be useful. Uh, so we have Irigo, mob rule, daka daka daka, keeping order, same rule as the regular knobs roll d6 for each model that flees from a clan unit that is within three inches of any friendly clan units. With this ability, one the morale test is taken on a six that model does not flee. Orc, clan, spiker, speed freaks. So it is speed freaks, that's kind of nice. And knobs. So there's a couple things to note about knobs on war bikes. Everything that, that applies to the knobs applies to knobs on war bikes. So they're identical units uh, as far as options and abilities go. The difference, of course, is that knobs on war bikes are incredibly expensive points wise. Whereas a knob on foot clocks in at 14 points, a knob on war bike clocks in at 38 points. And to be honest, that is just way too much to ever see these guys on the field. I mean, that would be 400 points for 10 war bikes, which is the most you could take, right? No, nine is actually. He contains one boss knob and two knobs on war bikes. And we're up to six additional knobs on war bikes. So nine is actually the maximum you can take. Not ten. Why would you do it that way? Anyway, but yeah, nine is the maximum, so that's 340 points, roughly. For 30 wounds. And that's with no weapon upgrades. Of course, probably the only weapon upgrade you want to give them is a second choppa. So they have, again, five attacks each. Or a good combination that came up in the knobs video was a choppa and a big choppa. But again, that still pushes these guys to 43 points each. That's more than a mega knob. And the mega knobs have three wounds and a two-up armor save. These guys just are really fast. So while knobs, I think, are an incredibly points efficient unit where you can take five guys with two choppas for 70 points, these guys' minimum point is going to be 114 for three of them. And you're just not going to get that much out of them. I mean, that's only what, 15 attacks with choppas. I mean, they are strength five. That is always a benefit, of course. And, of course, and on top of it, they're elites, not fast attack, which can make a difference, which might be a good thing, might not be a good thing, depending on what kind of detachment you're trying to fill out. But as far as elites go, I think there's, there's, there's always going to be better options for your elite slots than knobs on war bikes. They're just, they're just way too many points for what they are. I mean, you think of a boy as 17, as 7 points, a regular war bike is 23 that's almost three times as much. But same with the knobs on war bikes. You're still almost three times as much. But it's not worth it for that because, of, because between a regular war bike and a knob on war bike, point, the points difference is just not there. These need to be like war bikes are already, I haven't gotten to war bikes yet, but those are also way overpriced for what you get. And these just increase that overpriced by, by another order of magnitude. I don't know what would be a good points level for these. Because only a Forp save, no invol, no access to an invol save, uh, no, and the only thing you can do is keep a KFF mech on bike nearby for now, and ping on bike 
for now. Uh, there's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of survivability there. Even with three wounds, I mean, especially it's, there's enough three damage weapons out there. Just auto, just a predator uh, auto cannon will just devastate these guys like in nothing flat because they're flat three damage. And there's also even like armagers with their forty three shots at D three damage each will just devastate these guys real quick. So I mean that's a lot of I mean they'll do that to a lot of units, but then you have to think of the points and the value you're getting out of them. I just don't see the value at thirty eight points per model. The speed isn't worth that many points, as I found out playing war bikes. Speed is awesome, but if you don't have enough models or enough power to back up that speed, it doesn't really matter. And these guys just don't put out the power for the points to make up for this for for the speed they have I mean sure it'd be nice to uh, do the uh, cult of speed uh, stratagem with these guys for a 32 inch first turn move if they were worth the points if they had if you were able to add weapons to them and make them a real threat if these guys could take you know a couple kill saws a couple power claws a couple guys with two kill saws I should say a whole bunch of big choppers and choppers and be a reasonable price level, no. and it could actually be a threat in close combat, then it would be worth taking them and putting them in the Cult of Speed and, and charging them 32 inches up board. Right now, there's, there's so many points there that if you want to add those extra weapons, you're talking a quarter of your army in nine models that you're going to put right in front of your opponent's entire army turn one. And that's if you go first. If you don't go first, they're never going to get off the starting line. That's a quarter of your army. They're just not worth the points for what you get out of them. They might be fun to play. I mean, three wounds sounds like a lot. I mean, five attacks each sounds like a lot, on, but not on a 38-point model. On a 14-point model, five attacks at string five is amazing. On a 38-point model, five attacks at string five is horrible. So I don't know what kind of points level they need to be effective, what would be good, but a significant drop of both knob bikers and regular war bikers is needed to put them back in, probably at least a quarter. If these were 30 points a model and the regular war bikes were like 17 or 18 points a model, that would probably be where they need to be, I think. I'd have to play them at that level to find out. But these are at least one third overpriced. 30% overpriced for what you get. And I just can't recommend playing them. These are probably the worst unit, unfortunately, these are probably the worst unit in the entire codex. Well, uh, I guess you'd say the Stompa is probably the worst unit in the entire codex. Other than the Stompa, so these are number two, second from the bottom, with the Stompa being worst. So, have you played not bikers? I, I doubt anybody has. But if you have, let me know what you think. I don't think they're worth their points. 38 points a model is just way, way too much for what you get. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new Talking About Orcs videos every Wednesday, new battle reports every Friday, and hobby videos whenever I can. Thanks for watching.